Look at that. I stupidly didn't bring any chains. I freaking love this truck. Today, we're gonna try to get those wheels on that old mower pumped up, and I'm gonna try it with my air compressor first. This is my little Makita. It's a 2.6 gallon, two horsepower, max 700 is what it's called. I bought this thing a while ago, and I really like it. I bought it because um, they call it their big bore uh, motor, and I guess the piston is extra large, and so it's quieter and doesn't take as long to refill the tank. 2.6 gallons isn't a whole lot, so it's kind of hard when I'm using some air tools trying to take lug nuts off, but I am able to get that kind of stuff done. It, I just have to wait for the thing to fill up every once in a while. I want this thing to be full, so I'm gonna empty out some of the air so it triggers it to come back on. There we go. I don't know if you can tell, but this thing is a lot more quiet than a normal compressor would be. It's a lot more like low end of a sound rather than that high pitch, you know, sound. All right, so it looks like we're full and I'll use this thing to fill up the tires. And if that doesn't work, then I have a trick up my sleeve that I'm gonna try and I'll show you when we get out there. I'm gonna take the 95 again, just like we did last time. Gosh, she ain't light, I'll tell you that. I'm in four high again. So here's this Honda commercial mower, if you remember from the last episode. All of these tires are completely flattened out. So I'm gonna try to get some air in this and just see what happens. Okay, here we go. Let's see what happens here. Hopefully it doesn't blow up in my face, because that would suck. Whoa, look at that. Well, I just watched this thing blow up a little bit, so this tire is definitely deformed, but man, that was good. I don't know, maybe it's, oh, you know what? We got some uh, dirty water coming out of there. Okay, maybe I'll put some more air in and see what happens. Whew. Okay, that's a lot of air. You can see these tires look like, I don't know, are they cooked? I'm sure these things are absolutely unusable, but if it gets me down to the driveway, so that way I have a better place to work on this thing and get it up and running. That's all I'm looking for. Looks like we got a cap on this side, which is good. No way. That thing just held air. I put a lot of air in it just now. That was good, though I can hear it leaking. Well, those are definitely rollers at this point. Those will roll. The big question I think is these ones right here. That looks like where most of the weight's gonna be, so if these can hold air, then maybe I'm good enough to get down to the driveway. Look at that, look at that, look at that, look at that. Wow. No way, that whole thing just lifted up. Look at that guys, that just lifted the whole machine up. And I don't even hear it leaking. I mean, obviously there's cracks here. This tire is gonna have to be replaced, but this should get me down to the driveway, no problem. I did not expect that. I'm gonna try the other one and we'll see how that goes. We have one more here that is the major. Ugh, come on. Oh yeah, okay, got it. If I can get air in this one, I think I can definitely get this thing down to the, to the driveway. All right, here we go. Oh, come on, the angle is so bad. Come on, come on, come on, yes! Yes! Come on, keep going, come on! Yes! 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 Wow, Schrader valve's leaking. I mean, I can hear it leaking, but it's holding air enough to get this thing down to the driveway. That's awesome. Now the last two are these, and these are in rough, rough shape. 
I don't know if there's any help in this one. It's not even on the rim anymore. Same thing with this one. This one ain't on the rim either. All right, surprisingly, I was able to get air in one of these front tires. It wasn't even on the rim, and I just angled my fill valve enough that it just started filling up, which was really awesome. It was this front, uh, I guess we can call it passenger side here. The fill valve was still here, so I was able to get air in this thing. This one, on the other hand, not only is not on the rim, there's no valve in there to even fill it up. So I'm gonna have to replace all these tires anyway, but I think this will be enough to help me get this thing down to the driveway. If that didn't work, I'll show you what I was gonna do. I was gonna use this stuff here. I'm sure you guys guessed it when I was talking about it. I have three cans of this stuff, brand new. I mean, they're fairly old cans. They actually came in my wife's Envoy when we bought that a few years ago. And these were just rolling around in the back, so I took them out and I've had them ever since. I've been wanting to use them for some sort of video. And I thought this would be the perfect one, but maybe we actually should throw some of this in there. I still do see bubbles coming out of here, so it might be a good idea to just throw some of this fix a flat in this tire and see if it helps it out. I've used this stuff one time when I was a kid trying to fix a flat in my bike. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need some gloves for this. Okay, we gotta shake the can. Oh, yep, I think I got it. That's pretty well screwed on there. Let's see what happens here. Ooh, wow. Look at that. Okay, I'm taking it off now and, oh wow. How crazy, this, this bottle feels like it's empty now. And now I'm gonna lift it up and spin the tire. I think you're supposed to spin it around to maybe help the product to uh, kind of get around everywhere. Ugh. Mm, centrifugal force, do your work. That actually helped pump this tire up. I stupidly didn't bring any chains, so I'm trying to get this fix a flat to rotate itself throughout the big tires that are on hydraulics. Okay, I got this thing kind of where I want it. I got all but one tire full of air and it's rolling now. So I can either bring my tractor, which is kind of what I want to do, because I just like driving that thing, or go get a chain, chain it to my truck, and drag it down to the uh, driveway ne next to the shop, which is probably the easiest thing to do. Um, you know what, the tractor might actually be very helpful, because I bet I could chain this thing up to the tractor and then lift that rear blade and probably take some pressure off the front end of this thing. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, you can see I opted for the truck. Just the easier, quicker way, I guess. Maybe not. I freaking love this truck. It does everything. I'm gonna get a chain going from here to here. This tire is still full. Those ones are still full. That seems a little, it's still good though. That's still a roller and that one's still got air in it. So the only problem is that those two main tires there, I think they're hydraulically ran. So when I was trying to pull this thing, they were turning, but very slow. But that may actually help me going down these hills. I'm a little nervous about the lead that I have on this chain because I don't want this thing rolling into my truck. But at the same time, I don't think that's gonna happen because I, th I think that those tires on there, those wheels I should say, are gonna slow this thing way down. So what do you say we just jump in the truck and do it? I'm gonna have to go real slow though. Looks like it's working out. We're gonna get her this time. The wheels are turning, which means hopefully I'm not digging a big trench in the grass, which was the problem the first time. We'll see what this does down this hill. It's not digging out the grass, I hope. All right, although we are putting a dent and it looks like we are kind of digging the grass, it, it's not bad. I mean, this, this'll, this'll be fine. This'll grow back and be fine. Um, these, the problem is, is these tires are not turning. So I gotta go extremely slow 
in order to not dig that grass up. I'm going a little too fast for sure. I don't want this thing rolling into me. Doesn't look like that's really gonna be a problem though. So I just need to try to go slow. I mean, my I'm probably going two miles an hour and even that's too fast. I just don't wanna dig up this grass, that's all. Still in four wheel drive, four high. I am seeing some pretty good tracks from this, but hopefully that just kind of dissolves away over time. Well, look what we just did. Man, I can't believe I got this thing out here. Looks like the tires held up pretty good, actually. Those two back ones are perfect. These ones are perfect. Even this one's pretty good. I'm thinking that fix-a-flat really helped. Now I just gotta figure out where I want this thing. I don't know if I want it in the shop, which I think I do or just outside the door. Well, I have gravity doing some work for me. This may be a good spot right here. It's just out of the way of the door, which means I can still pull my truck in the shop. I still have close access to tools, yet this thing is outside, so that way it's not gonna get, you know, who knows what kind of fluids on the floor in the shop. What do you think of this machine? Any of you know this thing? It's got a Honda V-Twin 20 horsepower. It is in fact a Honda unit through and through. Honestly, I'm thinking once I get this thing cleaned up, running, new tires, I think this thing's gonna rip. I just started messing with this thing. I got the air filter off and I just wanted to show you why I didn't necessarily wanna pull it into the shop. Well, first of all, what you're gonna see is a bunch of this fluid film that I sprayed. I sprayed it in there and down there because as soon as I popped this air filter off, there was a ton of ants just kind of, I don't know if they were hibernating in there or what, but they were some big ants. And again, that freaks me out. Like, I don't, I don't know what kind of ants they are, are they gonna infiltrate my shop? There was also a lot of them all around this filter here. This thing went right here. And it looks like this filter element is like all one piece. Looks like it might unscrew here and here. The good news is when I look into the air intake here, it's all clean. The battery's obviously dead. And this fuel tank's definitely gonna need to be cleaned out. You can see this cap has seen better days. And coming out of the bottom of this tank is this fuel line here, which used to be hooked up right here. So all of this fuel line, fuel filter, fuel tank's gotta be clean. This all, all has to be touched. Everything here has to be dealt with. Here's the oil fill cap, which I've never taken off. Tell me there's oil in there. Indeed there is, that's a good sign. Here's the oil filter and hopefully I can get that off. And you can see the spark plug wire and the spark plug down here. This spark plug is absolutely toast. And looking inside this wire, this thing is toast also. Let's take a look at one of these spark plugs. It's not too, too bad. I mean, this side is completely rusted out and torched, but at least this plug was in there and it looks like there's just oil on the end. So everything is looking good so far. Well, I've been working on this thing for a while now and I got the motor to turn over pretty easily, but I'm not gonna lie, I've never taken apart a small engine like this. So I don't really know what's going on from like the top here down to like the crankshaft. If I take my breaker bar, you can hear that sound. It sounds kind of not good, but again, I don't know if that's just something that's happening up here somewhere. I'm taking my flashlight and looking right into the spark plug hole as I spin it around, and those pistons are moving just fine. Nothing really feels bound up, it's just that sound. When I look down in here, I do see a bunch of debris. So I don't know if it's just something down there or if there's some kind of bearing system up here. I'm not, I'm just not sure. So I think for today, I'm just gonna call this one done. I got the battery out of it and really just took a good look at everything. I was attempting to remove the fuel tank, but it turns out it's darn near impossible. So now that I have the motor turning over, I think I need to take some of the engine covers off and just kind of give it a good once over in there, vacuum out some crud that's in there and see what that noise is. It seems like it's turning over just fine. And if it's turning over, I think all I need is some new spark plugs, you know, change the oil, uh, obviously new fuel, fuel filter, air filter, all that good stuff. And I can try to start this thing. If any of you guys have experience with stuff like this and can give me some good input, please don't hesitate to comment below. But that's it for this one. We finally got this thing in my driveway. That was fun. And now I got the engine to turn over. And so I think we just got some new parts to go onto this thing, tear it down, clean it up, maybe try to give it a start. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. It really does help the video and the channel. And also, if you're watching this and you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing. My name is Jimmy for One Road, and I will see you in the next one.